हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सी सेट मंत्रा सी सेट मेड इजी एंड अफोर्डेबल वेलकम टू आवर डेली डोस ऑफ सॉल्व क्वेश्चंस फॉर मोर सॉल्व क्वेश्चंस एंड कॉन्सेप्ट्स काइंडली जॉइन आवर टेलीग्राम चैनल टू एनरोल इन आवर कोर्स काइंडली विजिट सी सेट मंत्रा डॉट कॉम बोथ द लिंक्स आर गिवन बिलो इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन आउट ऑफ फोर्टीन अप्लीकेंट्स फॉर ए जॉब देर आर सिक्स वुमेन एंड एट मैन इट इज डिजाइड टू सेलेक्ट टू पर्सन फॉर द जॉब द प्रोबेबिलिटी दैट at least one of the selected persons will be a woman is this question is from probability chapter you may expect one to two questions from this chapter my friends we learnt probability of event a is equal to probability of occurring of an event a my friends that is equal to number of favorable outcomes by total number of outcomes see here you have 14 applicants for a job out of these 14 applicants you have to select two persons for the job in how many ways we can select we are talking about selection my friends combination 14 c2 ways so this is the total number of outcomes total number of ways two persons can be selected among 14 applicants my friends this is clear right now 14 c2 is 14 into 13 by 2 into 1 Two ones are two sevens are okay. Seven tens are seventy plus seven threes are twenty one. So ninety one. Now number of favorable outcomes we want at least one of the selected persons as women, my friends. That means among two selected persons we can have one woman or both persons as women, my friends. So in this case another person will be men. Here we have two men. So these are the two cases possible here. See, we are talking about at least one of the selected persons as women, my friends. Okay, here we have one woman, so this satisfies this condition. Here we have both women, at least one, right? So this is also satisfies. So these are the two cases possible. Now the first case, one woman and a one man. Out of six women, how many ways you can select one woman? Six C one and and means multiplication and out of eight men. How many ways you can select one man? Eight C one. This is six into eight. That is equal forty eight. Okay, this is actual six by one, eight by one. So forty eight. Now the second case. Both the selected persons are women. Okay, so out of six women, you have to select two women. Six C two. This is six into five by two into one. This is as two ones are two threes are three fives are fifteen. So to fulfill this criteria, that is having at least one of the selected persons as women. we can go for this case r okay r we can go for this case my friends when we have r what we will do we will add them okay so total number of favorable outcomes is 48 plus 15 that is 63 so the probability of this event happening probability of having at least one of the selected persons as women is 63 by 91 my friends so our answer is b you can solve this problem in other way also my friends you have to learn this very very important this will come handy in some of the problems because in those problems you won't be going through all those cases my friends okay like one woman two women three women like this so this method will come in handy in those kind of problems and it will make your job easier my friends see this is the event we want right probability of having at least one of the selected persons as women okay at least one One equal to or greater than one plus probability of having no women in selected persons. Sum of all probabilities for this event. So what is that? Sum is one, my friends. Okay. See probability of happening an event. Probability of not happening an event. Their probability sum, my friends. Okay. It's always is equal to one. We have learned this in probability chapter, my friends. Now we want. Probability of having at least one of the selected persons as women, right? This is one minus probability of having no women. Probability of having no women means you are selecting these two persons from men, my friends. So out of eight men, you are selecting two men. So eight C two. This is eight into seven by two into one. Two ones are two fours are that is a twenty eight. And the total number of outcomes for this event that is fourteen C two, my friends. Okay, out of fourteen applicants for a job, you have to select two persons, right? Fourteen C two. That will remain same. So one minus twenty eight by ninety one. Now this is ninety one minus twenty eight by ninety one. This is equal sixty three by ninety one. So our answer is B. See, this method has made your job easier, my friends. 
let me tell you how let's say if three persons has to be selected for the job and at least one of the selected persons is women now in that case one woman two men this is first case second case will be two women one man third case would be three women see these many cases you are getting here my friends if four persons are there then one woman three men two women two men okay and a three women one man four women like this too many cases my friends whereas in this method you are finding the probability of event not happening that is having no selected person as women my friends i hope this is clear since we have only two persons here you can do both ways problem will not be that much lengthier in both methods whereas when it comes to three persons four persons these many cases will be there my friends you have to find out their nc you know r values and then multiply add that would be too much complicated rather than that you just use this method okay probability of event happening and not happening okay their probability sum is 1 Now probability of not happening an event you can do just like this 8c2 no women okay all persons are men so 8c2 